A sphincter says what? And they say, what? And I say, oh, so you're a sphincter? And they say, a race? Really? No. No, hog is what I call my penis. Ding! Not sure to get you open like six pack. Hill of bees exact. Flipping what? Murder one fact. All right, good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to another B Files video. Today, something a little bit different. We're going to go for a quick wander across the tower there and have a look inside my vault. Take a peek at my character's inventory and have a look at all the enhanced perks I've managed to collect over the last two years of grinding my ass off, dealing with shit blueberries, and the rest of the wonderful ins and outs of playing daily in Destiny 2. Now, this wouldn't really be an issue usually, but after the most recent TWAB, we found out some really wonderful information that basically all of our armor with all of these enhanced perks all of the things that we use daily, our scavengers, all the cool shit that we've worked our ass off to collect will be absolutely fucking useless the day that Shadowkeep launches. <laughs> okay, just on a quick side note, I think I found the fucking asshole that stole my Twilight character. Huh? Look at that face. The face of irrelevance. Collect my armor sets just so you can delete them next week. So if you take a look out the window over here on the right, we've got some people in Destiny 2 grinding. Just like we've all done for the last two years. But the sad fucking thing is, at least these two guys over here, who don't seem to take lunch breaks, will have something to show for it at the end. They'll have built a new tower, possibly a new set of stairs to get over to that walkway which seems highly fucking useless. But, the point being, they're grinding. They grind daily, just like I've grinded daily. And what do I have to show for it the day that Shadow Keep starts? Well, I'm gonna have a shit ton of enhanced perks that I'm gonna have to delete. So, apart from having amazing orange pants, my hunter does have a lot of enhanced perks on the gear which I've got on me at the moment. So we'll just have a quick look. I'll go over what I've got on me. You can have a look at basically what's going to turn into a lot of legendary marks for me and hopefully a shit ton of enhancement cores. But as you can see I got quite a few enhanced perks to choose from. Enhanced hand cannon targeters, sniper rifle targeters, some heavy lifting if you'd like. And these are different roles of course with different things basically spoiled for choice but we'll just let you have a quick look at what I've got here and the sadness that will come once all of this gear is basically useless It's sad, right? That's just what I'm carrying on me now, and basically all of those perks are useless. Don't even get started on all the scavenger perks, which are going to be no good next week as well. So, all that grinding? What was it for? Did we just spend the last two years collecting all this shit for nothing? It seems that may be the case. Let's have a look at what we're carrying weapon-wise as well. Good old trusty service revolver. That's some nice range. Trusty bygones. My year one meta. Don't leave home without your mind benders, boys and girls. Definitely living in hope for the last hope meta to return. It was a great time. Yes. 13,000 kills on that war cliff. Don't judge. Okay, let's have a quick look inside this vault. So, 
Bungie have already done this awesomeness to us before. Where we basically had all of our amazing year one weapons, which we just had to put on the shelf because they were useless. They weren't useless, but they just didn't have the perks that the wonderful new guns had. So we put them away and we just went on our way and collected more. Basically the same thing we're going to have to do with our armor. It wasn't as bad with the weapons, because there was new things which replaced them quite quickly. But, how quickly can we replace those perks? It took a quite a while to amass all those enhanced perks and to get the scavengers specifically to be able to run the loadouts that you want to. So, only time will tell. Just a small collection of jukes. Really nice hand cannon, packs a good punch. So, have a few just in case. Now, a lot of these weapons I've never even used. Just keep them just in case we get a, a meta switch.
irrelevant. That's a really nice roll. Thanks, salad bowl. Guess I'll enjoy them for just a couple more weeks until they're fucking useless. Don't flex on me, bitch. I think I just got burned. Weapons and armor can only do so much. Trust your light. Beat it. Okay, I've had enough salad bowl wisdom for today. That's right. See you later, Burr. Alright, guys, thanks for watching another B Files video. I know it's a little bit depressing. Gonna have to delete all those enhanced perks in a few weeks' time. But hopefully they have some sort of system in place that makes it not as depressing. Maybe the gunsmith will give us some few options for trading in some of those enhanced gear that we're carrying at the moment for maybe some new mods or something better than just some fucking glimmer and some shards. So fingers crossed. Hopefully at least that the exotics that we are carrying with the enhanced perks do just transfer straight over. I do doubt that we'll be able to get any of them out of collections with enhanced perks, but hopefully the exotics that we're carrying with the enhanced perks are still functional for us to use in Armor 2.0. But if not, hopefully Zer at least starts bringing us a better inventory with some more choices with some more enhanced perks. Make sure you do check him out this week. He was carrying a couple of exotics there that did have some nice rolls on them, but again, it, um, they could be all useless in a few weeks time so I guess we look forward to Shadowkeep where we can start the perpetual grind once again and um, have fun spending that day deleting all our gear if we find out that it's useless alright bees see you next time